Hello again everyone, it's time to do some more work on the Glastron. In this video, I'll be putting a temporary uh, paint booth up around the front of the boat, um, just using some scrap wood and some things like that. Also, I'll be attaching the bow eyes uh, to this boat so that I can get it pulled out of the garage and get the cap in here once all of my work has been completed. So, if you'll stick around, there's a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started. All right, so here I go. Getting started by building this makeshift paint booth around the front of the boat. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to spray only the inside of the front half of the boat that goes underneath the bow rider section. Um, this is gonna be the section that I'm gonna have the least amount of access to once I put the cap back on. So I thought I'd go ahead and take the time at this point to uh, build a paint booth and uh, get some work done on it. So what I'm doing is I'm using some scrap lumber that I have left over in my lumber collection here. Um, these are some pickets from when I built the fence here at my new house. Uh, these are kind of in bad shape, they're cracked and whatnot, but they'll serve the purpose of building the uh, makeshift paint booth. Oh, and I thought I'd bring in some reinforcements here, so brought in my clone to help me get things done. And uh, Again, all I'm doing is attaching this scrap lumber to the uh, cradle that I have built onto my trailer here. I'm just using some prime guard screws and some pieces of plywood to help brace the pickets and the lumber to the hole. Um, just making it rigid for the next step here when I add on more pieces to finish creating my structure here. So here I go. The next step was adding this plastic uh, drop cloth that has the tape on one end of it um, and a staple gun just to kind of get it nice and tight and draped around in the places I wanted it to be draped. So just starting from port to starboard. So then here I stretched the plastic out to go ahead and fill in my enclosure as well as adding another wood piece here at the top um, to continue with the plastic making it drape across the back here and basically give my walkthrough section. Then I stepped inside to finish out this paint booth here by adding plastic to the top uh, using the tape and staple method again here to make sure that it was completely sealed. Um, then I went around the bottom and made sure I had no gaps in my tape whatsoever. So this is it. Now I now have a makeshift paint booth around the front half of the boat. Um, I do have a step through curtain area in the very back which I'll show you here in just a second as you can see. Uh, it allows some air to come through, but it keeps any overspray from going outside of this enclosure. So what you're seeing me do now is I'm opening up a can of black gel coat. I got this gel coat from Lily Ram. Um, there are some viewers of the channel at that company here, and they sent me a few samples just to see what I thought about. So I thought, hey, why not try out the black gel coat, because that's what color choice I wanted to use on the... Uh, front half underneath the bow section anyway and I thought let's just go ahead throw it in my uh, paint gun here and see how it does um, and I used the entire contents and I mixed it to the specifications on the sheet that they sent um, basically uses the same type of hardener that the fiberglass resin uses so spraying gel coat this is my first go around with it in previous uh, times I've spray painted cars and stuff with automotive acrylic enamel and stuff like that but I've never used gel coat and there's a little bit of a learning curve because it is a thick material but um, I was able to get the gun to spray it out no issues um, again I want to point out something here this paint booth that I have built um, this is very tight on the ventilation make sure you have a respirator if you do anything similar I'm not a professional I do not endorse doing this yourself but for me I built this to fit a need that I had and it worked out pretty well Alright, so continuing the theme here of getting the boat ready for the cap, I moved to the transom of the boat to drill out the bow eye holes on the back. Um, I used a 3 8 inch drill bit because the bow eyes are 1 inch in size with 3 8 bolts. Now these are stainless steel, of course, and I got these from Overtons.com. I'll put a link in the description below. 
So, this is familiar territory. Um, as you've seen me do before, I'm going to be using my drill guide here um, and my drill bit to drill through the transom. I've got this set, so again, if you're not familiar uh, with me drilling holes in the transom before, this keeps you from having your, uh, your bit wander from one direction to the next. Uh, this keeps you at the angle that you set it to be. And again, if you have an electric drill, uh, I would suggest using it versus a battery operated, but I had fresh batteries and I never had any issues this time around. And I also had a good sharp bit this time. And once they were done, the bow eye fit without any issues, then made pretty quick work of finishing off the hardware here, um, clamping it down nice and snug. And let me tell you, you can really feel the strength of this new transom uh, when I went to strap the boat down to the trailer here, uh, those eyes didn't even budge an inch and it feels really good having um, the boat kind of come together and feel how solid it all is uh, through the reconstruction process here. Uh, it's kind of fun to actually do this part. So once it was done and strapped down to the trailer nice and tight, we took a little road trip here. Um, you can see me just kind of heading on down in a nasty looking day here but this was the day I had set aside to get this out of my garage so I could get prepared for the next step so I took it to a family members house here and I stored it um, here in their garage for a change now what I'll be doing next is I'll be getting to the cap um, modifications reconstruction all of the above there uh, to get it strengthened backed up and get ready to put back on uh, this hole here. But yeah, so the uh, boat was getting hauled down here to my family member's house. Um, it's kind of weird to be at this stage to where I'm having to store the boat somewhere else, um, but it's necessary to get the cap in my garage and that will allow me to do all the work I need to do. Well, that's gonna do it for this video here. I wanna thank you all again for watching and following me along. And remember, please subscribe so that I can see you next time.